In an outdoor scene, the sky takes up approximately 50% of the view, on average. Fortunately, believable real-time skies are easy to render. Cloud effects help to create the illusion of an infinite atmosphere. We're going to use two worlds to render the sky. The sky will be created in a background world and rendered first. The rest of the scene will be rendered on top of this in a second pass. This diagram illustrates this idea. Here on the left we see the sky rendered in the first pass. And then the scene itself is rendered on top of that in a second pass. And on the right we can see the combined results of the two. We're going to start with this simple program which is copied straight from the article for this lesson. And this will simply load a scene and display it with some camera uh, camera looking code. So there's our scene and we can look around, but we don't have any background yet. It's just solid blue. First we need to create a background world for this sky box. And I'm going to call this background. To make the background world renderable we need to have a camera created in the world. When the background world is created it is automatically made the current world and all entities created thereafter will be an inhabitant of that world. If we create a camera, it will be an inhabitant of the background world and can be used to render the background. So right after this, we'll just add another camera. And this camera will be an inhabitant of the background world. The skybox mesh is going to be an inverted cube. First we'll create a cube and then we'll just call flip mesh which reverses the faces. And then we want to paint the cube with the skybox material. Okay, so what we're going to do in the uh, rendering code is first we're going to render the background world and then we'll render the our main world on top of that. But there's a problem. Every time you uh, render a world, when a camera is rendered, it clears the depth and color buffers. So we're going to change our main camera here so that it only clears the col the uh, the depth buffer. It'll leave the color buffer there. And basically what that means is when this camera is rendered it will just draw everything on top of what was already drawn but it won't clear the screen with a solid color. We're also going to change our rendering code a little bit. We want to render the background first. So we'll say set world background and that will make the background the current world. And we need to rotate the uh, background camera to match the rotation of the main camera. And actually I want to change this. I'm going to call this BG cam. Now we'll call render world 
and this will render the background world because that's the current world and then we'll say set world world which is our main world and we'll call render world again and this will render the main world on top of the background and then we just render our lighting as normal and now we can see our sky behind the rendered scene now if I hadn't made this call to camera clear mode and set the main camera so that it only clears the depth buffer I'll show you what will happen So the sky is being drawn, but when the main world is rendered, the camera is clearing the color buffer with this solid blue color, so we can't see the sky now.